Oh, awesome. I am live. Let's get, okay, here we go. Awesome. I am live, and uh, we're going to be building a new computer today. Uh, it's going to be my Frankenstein build of the Ryzen 1800X. And it's going to be freaking fantastic, except for the graphics card, but I'll explain a little bit of that later. Uh, so recently I got some uh, VR, and the VR headset did not work as planned with my old FX architecture for the 803500, or 803050, did it, yeah, not 500, 803050. Uh, issues with the motherboard and uh, the USB 3.0, I was having a little bit of issues with, uh, saying that I, the, the sensors were not being detected correctly. Um, so I wanna get that done. So in the meantime, uh, I'm gonna flip the camera around and we are going to work on this PC. This is the old PC. As you can see, I've really started taking parts out of it. Um, I got two hard drives there. I got a, um, a solid state, which I'm gonna keep in this PC. Um, we're gonna keep the, at pretty much everything's gonna be kept in this PC as is, except for the, uh, um, the fan that was on the case. And then uh, we're gonna take off uh, the graphics card because obviously I need a um, I need to put it in this one um, this is the 970 and because I yeah this is the new one so I'm gonna put the nine this this graphics card the 970 and uh, this one which is the uh, Corsair uh, Carby uh, carbine uh, series 100 R uh, I've already modified a little bit of that let's go over here I'm excited I'm excited as you can tell I sort of uh, rigged up that fan. Um, only two screws. It seems pretty solid. Um, nope, nope. Don't want to rotate device. Um, there we go. Nope. Ah, stop it. Okay. And then um, I put the hard drive that I got, the 250, uh, the new hard drive, because this is going to be a fresh build. I'm going to put fresh everything, except uh, that memory, like I said, is going in there. And then I have a yeah big player right there i'm taking out um this has been water cooled i've never changed any fluids whatsoever i don't think i've ever needed to or if you are even supposed to so um i went smart so let's take a look what we got here ah uh, that's new here so we got the ryzen 1800x we got the vengeance um, two gb uh, two gigabytes of eight for me. So I got that just because it works a lot easier that way. And what? Yeah, that works. It's just shiny. Um, I don't want to deal with water cooled, so I got this, which is the uh, yeah, this cooler, uh, the Noct two, uh, cooler. I saw somebody build it with uh that, and then for the motherboard, we got the three X three seventy for the Ryzen. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. Look at that. NVIDIA, so it's going to be great work with the NVIDIA card with that. And that was for me cleaning earlier on the uh, and that I took from the other computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on a tripod. Um, oh, yeah, there's the Oculus that I bought that fortunately doesn't work, and the panels. So, all right, we got two fans in there properly. This is going to intake in here and then out, I believe, is right there. Um, oh, yeah, we got a new power supply right here. There's your Corsair. So I decided to stick with Corsair. I wanted something simple, something easy. So we're going to go with that. Um, so yeah, I'll put you on the tripod. We'll take out the uh, DVD drive. And... Tighten it down. That way the camera's not so shaky. And then, let's see, here's this one. There we go. Tools. I'm gonna get some screws. Hard drive screws. The little ones right there. That should be it. Take out some of these trays. Hard drives. Oh, so I got some hard drive trays. Let's take out the hard drives first. They're simple. I just take a screwdriver and take them both out. 
put them on the trays. Now this is kind of interesting that it has these kind of like uh, slide-ins for it. And then, there we go. And the slides are right out. And we can take out the rest of these screws. Huh, interesting. Well, I guess you didn't need those screws. Ow. Boom. Oh, it's got sprinkles. This is kind of dusty too. Let's lost that screw. I'll wipe that down with a dry paper towel. A little fussy. And so yeah, we got that. So let's move this over here. And that should just be able to like that. Alright, so it kind of locks in. Meaning. So locked in, but just to be safe, I'm gonna see if there's any screws I really need to put in here. Did I put this in wrong? Yeah, I put this in wrong. I don't wanna break these tabs. I don't wanna break the tabs. There we go. Much better. I knew I put it in wrong. Or maybe I didn't. Did I not put it in wrong? Hmm. Very interesting. I wanted to work on the other side, or when I flipped it the other way. Let's see here. Tab here, tab here, tab here. So essentially. Huh. All right, so it does want me to put it in this way. For whatever reason, I have not a clue. But it does. I want you to screw some screws on the bottom here. Huh. Interesting. Ah. Because if that's the case, I don't know if anybody can see, but essentially this is how they wanted me to put it in. Because uh, the other way doesn't want to work. So, it wants me to put it in so that these are facing the other way. So... I'm going to have to take out the other hard drive and face it the other way. Because that's what I'm thinking it wants me to do. And it kind of would make perfect sense, you know, just to keep it kind of like all of wires underneath it.
And there go all the screws. I heard three drops, and I only saw two screws. So that's not cool. Oh, never mind. There's two screws in here. It's gonna go in this I know it's kind of quiet. Didn't want to put the uh, radio on and get a little copy strike or anything like that just for me putting together a computer. So, surprisingly, this all came in now compared to later. Alright, so the hard drive set. Got this hard drive. But once you need to put bigger screws on there. Yeah. I'll screw these uh, four screws that I have on here, and I think we'll be good. These are from the donor PC, anyway, so. Plenty of screws, I just didn't feel like. Anything crazy. Reuse, recycle, I say. Alright, so what I'm doing right now is just getting these hard drives ready to go and put into the new PC. It wanted me to put them in like this. Regardless of positioning, this is the only way they wanted me to put them in, so. I guess they want me to really work on hiding the cables. So that's two hard drives done. I'll put them both in the new PC. <clears throat> oh, fits snug. That was snug fit. All right, so let's get this other one out. This one's just being held in by a couple screws. Look at these. Look at this. It's so, it's so ghetto. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get new screws for this one because I kind of just put them in there like that, and I just had some screws laying it down. Oh, would you look at that? Well, these were like that before. Nice. Looks like the donor PC had a nice setup, too. I do like that setup. A lot of cable management going on. Let's see what that looks like. Well, all right, so this one's going to use these little metal ones right here that I found. I think these are for the back of the case anyways for the PC, but they, uh, they fit, so I'm going to use them. Moving parts, don't want to move, right?
I had other screws. I just didn't get them out or open the package. Like I said, reuse, recycle. Alright, so this hard drive's done. So I'm going to put that one in the PC as well. So that's taken care of. Now, alright. Back to the uh, computer. I'm going to take out the uh, drive over here. So we're going to disconnect this blue wire. I don't want to. Looks like it's been on there for um, six years. Oh, it's a little button. Right, so there's a little button. This is just power to it. Looks like one, two screws holding that in. Might be some screws on the other side. We'll find out when we get there. That would mean we'd have to take off the back. This thing. Yeah, there's screws on the other side of this. So, what I really want to do is also take out this right now. So this is hooked up. All right, let's, let's take out this. So it's out of the way. So it's in the broken. Screw in there, good. All right. I really got that screw jammed in there. Talk about ghetto fied. Oh, they got three screws? Alright, well, take out all three screws then. There we go, I saw that move. There's two. And then we're, what we're gonna do is place this on some cardboard. putting this in. It's been quite some time. So, just take that part. A lot of screws. Don't know where they all go. Oh, there's something there, maybe. Nope. Okay, so this should be able to come out now. A little dusty as well. Now it should pop straight out. Come on. Don't want to break you. Pop down a little bit. Come on. Now oh, it's probably got that latch on the bottom there. Yeah, it's got a latch. Son of a bitch. There it is. There we go. Let's safely take this out. Doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look dusty. It's in the Zeus, too. So let's put that on. So that's out. 
got all these little screws all over the place. Put them on the tray. Okay, so that's out of there. There's a moth in here. What else we got in here? Eh, doesn't matter. Let's flip this bad boy over. Because we're going to have to take off the other side. Apparently that's something i got to do now. Let's take off this side of the motherboard. I didn't even use half the ports on this thing. If you notice on the back here, it's only got two um, USB 3.0 ports, but they were bad, so... They work, but the power going to them were fluctuating. There we go. Got this back. And then what we'll do is we'll unscrew this up here. I'm going to hold that so it doesn't like, fall out. I imagine that's what's going to happen if I don't hold on to it. Should just slide right out. It wasn't hitting something. Oh, that little slide through the front hole. That's what we'll do. So we'll slide through the front hole, but we gotta take out the power strip, I think. It's catching on something. Alright, so I think we can set the Frankenstein PC off to the side now. Alright. Paper towel. Wipe that down. It's important cord. I'm not sure if the, mother, the new one's going to have that. I think this is a Blu-ray drive. This would be awesome just to... Well, I don't have any viewers right now, so imagine this will be for later, or people later. Alright, so let's take a look at the new board, see where we're at currently with this. I'm going to set up the motherboard here shortly. I'm just going to clean up some of these screws. All right, so again, um, PC, or my phone just died. Um, so I'm going to um, I didn't notice when I was doing things. But so far, I put the, uh, flip that over. Uh, put the, uh, look at that, the CD Blu-ray driver in there. These are 3.0s. Oh, man, got some hair on there. Oh, nope. Rotating a lot. Good. All right, so, yeah, so there's that, and hard drives are in there. Got some wires for things. So I'm gonna put this back on the uh, the stand. The donor PC is all donored out. Um, I was saying before the stream cut out, I believe, that the donor PC is up for uh, you know debate. If anybody's interested, I'll raise this. But now, for now, we do something a little bit interesting. Let's make sure that's out of the way. I mean, uh, tch -tch -tch -tch. the light over here, because we are now going to set up the motherboard. Uh, on the floor here. And we're, we should be good. Should be an interesting setup. Alright, so, we're going to use the box that came in. So we do have the motherboard. Can we see all that? Is that good? Yeah, I think you're good. Might be a little bit far away from what we were doing before. As long as we get the board out. Let's see what else is in here. Installation CDs, Ooh, I like that. Should pop that on. Cables here. 
the cables, more cables, this cable, more tie downs, I'm gonna leave everything, what is this, SLI bridge, I have to read the book for that, uh, I got some stickers, um, so yeah, I want to make sure this is out of the box so that I can actually use the top of the box. In case I do that, it looks like they had some more stuff. No mounting screws. Oh, more stickers in case I needed more stickers. Um, specification, new. Right, so there's that. User guide, BIOS, so I don't need to use components, AMD CPU. So I'm just going to read this for a second here. Optical drive, got that. Mm. Oh, I put the shield on. I want to put the shield on the PC first. Where's that after? Okay. Oh, it does do some chapters. All right, central processing unit. Okay, cool. So let's do this. Put the CPU on. Um, then we should work on the uh, the cooling unit as well. We'll put the CPU on. Here. All right, so there's this. Make sure, in case we get that portion here. I'm not put my hands all over this. look at it, make sure there's nothing off with it. it doesn't look like anything's off with it. Alright, so let's take a look at the fan. Let's push this back. This is my first build since 2011. So, making sure I want to do everything right, everything correct. Alright, so we got secure. So this looks like it has some secure stuff. And here's the fan. It's brown. Doesn't really match it, but I think it will work okay. And that's all that's in the box. Don't need this box. Extra stuff out of the way. And let's just take a look at it. Okay, this should be pretty easy. Easy to use. That's why I wanted to get it. It's super easy, it looks like. Oh, whoops. Take that off yet. That's to protect. Super chill, too. Super sharp. You gotta be careful. There's that, and this is the Noctu, um, NHU12SSEAM4, so it's going to go hopefully like that, but it might have to go like that. Yeah, it's probably going to go like this, because then that way it's going to blow air towards the back. So the fan's going to spin this way, and I'm going to probably put it like that, because those tabs right here are here, so they screw in. So I'm going to set this off to the side, so 
I don't bend it, break it. Let me take a look and see what's in this mini box. Okay. It's going to have some instructions. Pairing. Gives you a nice, oh, gives you a really nice, really nice. So it's got some of that. Alright, so it's got a lot of stuff. I'm not gonna, I don't wanna screw this up. So, let's go and take a look at the instructions. This. Required mounting parts. AMD stock back plate. Awesome. So. Back plates. Remove the stock. All right, retention mods. And this is the what's the difference between N M A D four. Hmm. All right, so we should probably put the CPU in first before we start messing with this. All right, before anything gets on there as well. Wow, I'm jumping all over the place, I'm telling you. I'm just more concerned because those look like parts and everything all over the place. And of course I didn't have my razor. the seal. This is a brand new. It looks like it's... Oh, it's got the plastic on here. That's okay. I'll leave it on there. Well, this is the funny thing. Pretty much, it comes with a wooden box. This whole box is just for this little tiny piece that's right here. So, this is what you get, pretty much. They could have made this a lot smaller than what it is. This is the easy part. Now the hard part is figuring out how to socket this. I believe it's going to socket in just like that. Oh, I didn't like that. I didn't like how they did that. Nope, I didn't like that at all. I don't want to touch it. Okay. Triangle. Line up the triangle. Lift the retention bar. Ah, perfect. It's in. 
Let's lock that in there. All right, so it's in. It's in. Perfect. Good thing I didn't smash that down, right? <laughs> I am like the worst PC builder in the world. I should. I'm gonna call this the worst PC builder in the entire world. All right. So now let's take off the sockets because we can. Let's use that giant bar because we're gonna use the original architecture apparently. I'm gonna use this because it's not magnetic and I don't wanna screw anything up. This is an $800, $800 screw up if I screw up, so don't want to do that. So this can go away. All right. the stock retention module, which I did. All right. Short, okay, let's see here. Shorter the long. Hmm. Oh, okay. The long ones, we have it like this. Yeah, I want to do it this way. I want to do the long ones. Airflow comes from the top. That's what I'm feeling. And then the space. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking like the short ones. Because then I can mount the yeah, mount the mounts. Have the airflow this way. Let's see here. How do I want to orientate this? Hmm. I really don't know what I want to do for orientation. I want to use the short ones or not. Put the spacers over it though first. I have the spacers here, right? That'll blow, suck the air from inside the PC out. So we have air blowing in. Back there we have air 
Going in or out? I don't know. Which way I want to orientate this. Doesn't really have any instructions on how I want to do this. I really don't know what these are. These are rubbers. Rubber pieces for something. Is that for the second fan? Probably. Hmm. It's a really good question what I want to do here. why you always have two PCs, just in case something's screwed up. But we got the Ryzen chip in it. The Ryzen's in there. Got the other PC going. <clears throat> See if I want to go the short way or the long way. He went with the long. Okay. 